Characteristics of Dadaism Art One of the main characteristics of Dadaism is that it's an anti-war art movement. Dada movement was a rebellious act against the old way of life due to the First World War, 1914-18. The movement began in Zurich. The Dada movement. The point of the movement was to subvert the erroneous decision which had enabled the war to occur and continue. Dada art was a global art movement, with artists from Europe and North America. The inspiration for Dada art is a direct result of World War I. Dada's visual arts resembled abstract art in style and inspired other art movements such as surrealism. Dadaists accepted that war divided people and they various arts. Dadaism or Dada was a type of artistic rebellion conceived out of the social and political times during 1910. Dada represented components of art, music, poetry, theater, and legislative issues. Dadaism in art was a style similar to Cubism or Fauvism. It was a progressive movement with a defiant declaration against war. Dada characteristics. Humorous, creative freedom and not rational. Dada was a wartime movement, established amidst a global union of artists, driven to create a new standard of art. In spite of the fact that the Dada artists promoted themselves as being hostile to art, the outcasts in Zurich were against conventional art and its vaunted standards. The Dada artists endeavored to discover better approaches to make new art and new styles for the people. Being purposely hostile to the politics. If you have enjoyed the video so far, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Let's know if you want more videos like this, by hitting the like button, now back to the video. Dada and Surrealism Dada and Surrealism were the two movements used to redefine art and how it should be represented in society. Paul Delvo, Salvador Dali, and René Magritte painted in a surrealist fashion, utilizing their own unique techniques to represent art. All things considered, the two movements are similar in that art should be creative in essence. Dada's utilization of various items to create art was radical. Regardless of whether it is tossing bits of paper to create a composition by some coincidence, or gathering irregular words and reconvening them as poetry, Dada artists were anarchic in nature. Who started the Zurich Dada movement? One of the main activists behind the Zurich Dada movement was Tristan Zara and Francis Picabia, who later moved to America. Together, Zara and Picabia lectured to people on the role that art played in society and the visions they had for humanity. From 1917 to 1921, they delivered eight issues in a Dada magazine, which was translated in German and French. Hugo Ball was a German author, poet, and one of the founders of the Dada movement at Zurich in 1916. Purpose of Dadaism Dadaism primary focal point was for artists to create works that would overturn the middle-class norms about what an artist was, and their ideals about what art should be. Dada restricted the standards of elite class culture. Dada artists are known for their utilization of regular items that could be created or purchased and introduced as art. Francis Picabia was a French artist who personified thoughts of Dadaism and characterized himself as a Dadaist. He worked with Alfred Stieglitz, who gave him his opportunity to have his own showcase in New York City.